Today we will see examples related to classification of triangles. See the displayed triangles and identify their names on the basis of their sides and angles. 1. Direction signboard 2. Wall and ladder A signboard showing the directions is represented in the first figure. In this figure, all three sides appear equal. Therefore, on the basis of sides, we can say that this is an equilateral triangle. Similarly, here we can see that all angles are smaller than right angle, which means they are appearing to be acute angles. Therefore, on the basis of angles, we can say that this is an acute angle triangle. In the second figure, a ladder is making a triangle with the wall and the ground. We know that a wall makes a right angle with the ground. In this way, we can say that there is one right angle in this triangle. Therefore, on the basis of angles, we can call it a right angle triangle. But if we observe carefully, we find that none of the sides of the triangle are equal. Therefore, on the basis of sides, we can say that this triangle is a scalene triangle. According to the description of the triangle, find the type of triangle based on the sides. From the description provided for triangle XYZ, we understand that the length of side XY and side YZ are equal. But the length of the third side XZ is different. Therefore, we will call this triangle as isosceles triangle. From the description provided for triangle ABC, we understand that the length of the three sides are not equal. Therefore, we call such triangle as scalene triangle. From the description provided for triangle PQR, we understand that the length of all three sides are equal. Therefore, we call such triangle as equilateral triangle. Next example, according to the description provided for the triangle, identify the triangle on the basis of angles. From the description provided for triangle LMN, we understand that angle L, angle M and angle N of the triangle are all smaller than right angle that is 90 degree. Therefore, we will call this triangle as acute angle triangle. From the description provided for triangle IJK, we understand that angle J is a right angle. A triangle in which there is one right angle is called a right angled triangle. Therefore, triangle IJK is a right angle triangle. From the description provided for triangle UVW, we understand that angle V is greater than right angle, which means it is an obtuse angle. Therefore, we call this triangle as obtuse angle triangle. So, today we have seen examples related to classifications of triangles. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to these.